we did. Hello. What's up, everybody? Does the mic work? Yes, it does. The mic does work. We're here. Um, we have a surprise appearance tonight. This here dog? Oh, this dog? <laughs> I'll get used to this dog. This is a limited, limited edition dog. This is a limited edition dog. His name is Cosmo? Yeah. He's chill. Take a screenshot, mint it as an NFT. Now's a great time to buy NFTs. Uh, on account of how they're basically free now. Uh, get your NFT of this dog. One time only. One time only, yeah. We interrupt our regular... I'll sell each one for like $10,000. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a bargain. It's a great bargain. Um, uh, we interrupt our regularly scheduled Flesh and Blood program to um, bring to you, I guess, episode zero of the Viewer G1. Yeah, that's a good... Um, we gave you a teaser last time. This is full-on episode zero, uh, where we'll make the pods... Um, and we'll do uh, a pretty good, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into each of these decks. Um, we are going to draft these decks into pods. All that means is it's a pseudo randomizer element to get the decks into the pods that we will be uh, playing for the next 11 weeks. And then take so, the speaker away from Eddie and adjust the camera slightly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, we will be um, kind of going over all the decks that everybody sent in. I believe Justin has the um, form that has the... I do have uh, I have, do have who sent what, with the exception of one deck, but we'll figure that out by promise, uh, process of elimination. Yes, using our su I superior need to change deductive this skills. Thing. Okay, changing the style. Right, that okay, a little better. This, that was it. Was the Logan setting now? Okay, is it back to the regular set, setting? Right. Do we sound better? Do we sound better? Should be directionally better. Relatively the same. Relatively the same. All right. So uh, I don't know how we want to do this. If yeah. Kind of like. Uh, we'll just high roll. So I'm Team Confage and your Team Light Tasker. Yeah. So that will be represented resent, represented by, and well, I have like all the stuff here. So oh, you got some you stuff. can see. Um, I'll just be orange and you can be blue. Okay. All right. These dogs knocked over my water bottles. Oh, they're they're closed. It's fine. All right. Um, we have some we have some dog activity happening right now, walking around the room. So what I'll do is I'll just like if we pick one, I'll just drag it to like the top or to the bottom. Okay. And that Sounds should good. keep them in the order, in the, same, in the right order. Yeah. Yeah, and eventually we might. Will... We'll probably re-randomize after I I do that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Come back up. Okay. Yeah, you want to come back up? You want to come back up? <laughs> Not you, Eddie. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. Eddie, you can't. You're too bad. Oh, come. oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, oh jeez. Doug, uh, he's panting too hard. I was too excited. It's all panted out. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Eddie. all right. We'll roll. See, go. Who's the first pick? I have a. Uh, 67. All right, I got 93. All right. Near the first all right. pick. I know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know which I deck want. I would take. I know, I know that. I don't know all of these decks. I don't know all these decks, but I know one deck that if I had first pick, I would have taken. Uh, there's actually two that I like a lot. Um, but I think, and I might not, I might not be picking the one that you expect me to pick. Oh, here. okay. Okay. So I'm going to pick... Crodorn, I guess you gotta find it. It's Crodorn? Uh, yeah. I believe it's World's Glide. Yeah, yeah. So this is Crodorn Z Megoro Ringleader. Mmm. And I'm gonna let this find that. This is a Storm Strong deck. Ah. I think it was actually like Nope. This is not, probably not the best way for me to have done this. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, there, you went past it, yeah. Okay. Crow Dorn. Cosmos hitting buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> he's he's helping. All right, here we go. This is Storm Strongs. Sent him. We got three okay. blood monies. We got the oh, yeah, yeah. This we thing. got uh, Ganger Chieftain, Mog Hunter, Narp. So and uh, Rock Curling Giant, Slimy Jerk. So this I like this Brobnar side. Um, yeah. As far as like Worlds Collide Brobnar goes, looks pretty. Sweet. Because it's Rock Curling Giant and a bunch of cards you want to discard. Yeah. So uh, and blood money. So you yeah. can, like, blood money something and then, desert, like, Berserker Slam it or discard a NARP and do 4 damage. Yeah, you've right? got Exhumes to bring back the you Rock. always have 
access to your rocket league giant yeah, that's things. pretty dope plus triple tau tau vapors that's yep. really uh triple I mean, tau tau is kind of insane right it's got graph for the scaling it's double and furnace triple exhume it's got double and furnace oh my god yep lots of lots of gross stuff going on here uh snags mirror you know that's whatever it gets uh it's purged fine. to your own in furnace I yeah think, probably that, that's probably the best use of it as data forge i don't know if it can do any th sort of data forge things but it's there in can you? Right. Is there a situation in which you can furnace your opponent's deck down to their last house, and then you snags mirror them out of the game? I guess that is possible. Yeah. If you can't choose a house for your turn, you just don't, right? Uh, I mean, you I choose guess you the choose house you choose one of the houses that you don't you have any no cards, cards for. for. Yeah, yeah, that would yeah. that would be a thing. You just can't play anything. <clears throat> yeah, uh, it can't be good. It's a world's five Robiner. It is eighty sass. It's an eighty sass deck that has world's Collide Robiner in it. The Robiner is seventeen sass. And I would dispute that because it's got Rock Curling Giant, which is worth <laughs> infinite sass. Yeah. Yeah, that deck looks like a banger. So that is my official first pick. That's, that's a good one. That's a good. I think that would be on a lot of people's radars. Yeah. Um, but uh, so you're blue. I'm blue. Okay, I'm orange. All right. So um, mine is going to be this mega banger, Saraha. Experimentation war experimentorium warlord Saraha. Okay, um, Saraha. It's already at the top. It's already number one. Yeah. Uh, now the reason I picked this first is because uh, this deck looks awesome. Um, mostly because it's got five sins in it. All five sins. We finally, five sins. We finally have some sins. It's got a legacy. It's got. A Maverick. The Grey Rider it's got a Shadows. Shadows Grey Rider. I'm going to find that because it looks awesome. I don't actually think I've looked at it yet. So I'm, I'm interested to see. There you go. This is... Whose deck is this? Hold on. All right, let me show, you can show this. I think this now. is... Uh, yeah, Punch to the Leon. Punch to the Leon, yes. Uh, all right, so there's the Grey Rider. I can barely see it because of the setup that we have going on, but there's the Shadows Grey Rider right there. Um, looks awesome, but yeah, finally getting to play with Sense. Not only did we get this Sense deck, there is another Sense deck roaming around out there. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, we have two Sense deck in the tournament. What, how, it's crazy, right? The junk is crazy. Um, so yeah, and it's got a, it's got a pretty good spread of the Sense, I'd say. I think it's like, it's like the, the ones that are, Wrath is not bad, but it's, it's, it just is there to fight, right? Um, Gluttony is potentially insane. Yeah. Sloth um uh i think is insane right at the end of your turn if you did not use any creatures this turn gain one free friendly sin creature so if you're taking a non disc turn then sloth can give you a couple you've got greed which is the mother but for uh every sin right, creature that's that you have. obviously good so this one's obviously insane yeah pride is reap ward each friendly sin creature and then desire is the keys cost plus four, it's and like then you can reap and... all the best ones. Yeah, so I I think there is a situation in which um, you just get to you just get to go ham with a sense, yeah. and it's going to be great. It's got two draw icons. Um, uh, uh, it's got Pinsurator, which is a card that we've actually seen do quite a bit of work. Um, it's pretty good, and especially um, against like uh, Worlds Collide. Yeah, yeah, against against sets with small creatures or lots of warding, right? So, um, yeah, this deck looks sweet. Um, we've got Auto Encoder. May as well throw that in there. Um, I can't believe so, the deck's 76 sass, to be honest. Yeah, well, it, it, it's one of those where it, there's probably some clunk to it. The, I've got the rose-colored glasses on right now looking at it. Um, so, uh, but yeah, uh, I think in, I'm thinking Saraha be a blast to play. Can't okay. wait to do it. So, All right, so uh, in the interest of trying to split up some of this Mass mutation. mass mutation because we are sent 10 mass mutation decks a big old 10 i'm gonna take the beefy lady <laughs> that, deck looks, Hill. that deck looks good too yeah it looks pretty fun so it's got the z force agent let's find it yeah I have this it. deck is I, I can hover over there we go this deck is great we got i'll see who this is from first uh, the B, I think this is, this is a Joker deck. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yep, this is one of the two Joker decks. Oh no, I've lost my place. There it is. Okay, 77 Sass. We got Kurzap. We got Professor Principal. So Kurzap would be good 
if we were, didn't have an environment with a pile of mess. Yeah, so it's but gonna it'll be, still be it'll it's, still be it's good, gonna be good about half the time. Yeah, right? about half the time. Yeah. Right. Well, maybe it's it's gonna be good more than half the time. It was still fine in a mass mutation environment, yeah. right? It's just like it, it cleans up. It can, it can clean up some of the problem creatures yeah. uh, that have a have a tendency to accumulate. So, um, we got Zenzi, and we got the uh, the whole Z Force Agent package. We love that. But we have two armory officer Nels. Oh yeah, and look at the um, so that's and Matter Maker. Yeah, look okay. at the look at the enhancements that are in this deck too. It's got a pile of them. Double borrow as well. Uh, we got oh man. We got a draw icon on Z-Wave emitter. We got a damage on a borrow. Yeah, the draw the, on a Dino Thief. The bouncing Death Quark has two damage pips, which is really good versus wards. You're yeah. just like two wards are gone, and then I'll kill some stuff. Both right? borrows have a draw, or is that what did I say? Damn. Okay, so the other borrow has a draw, which is sweet too. Yeah. Z-Ray Blaster has a damage. Kurzap has a damage. M Mutant Cut Purse has a draw. <laughs> Humex has a capture. Okay. Yeah. B Buckton has a draw. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of drawing in the deck. Cool so, uh, I, I think that deck's gonna be one of the scary efficient ones, right? Because yeah. it's gonna have um all. I mean, an L too, like on yeah, top the of that. L plus the Z Force, right? Um, so yeah, what's the F on this guy? Seventeen F. That's pretty uh, good. Pretty, it's pretty, that, yeah, it's pretty good. Seems pretty good to me. All right, boom, the beefy lady. All right, um, so let's go. Let's take a let's take a. Quick look right here. Oh man, that's that's dope. All right, I'm gonna take Doctor Twisty or Shelley, which I think is the other Yolker deck. Okay, we'll split the Yolker decks up, and um, so they're not in the same pod. Um, but uh, this one has an untamed Eureka, a Maverick Eureka, which is awesome. That is so sweet. Let's go see if we can find that real quick, just to take a look at that. Um, just because I bet it looks so cool. Yeah, there you go. That is that is a beautiful, beautiful Maverick right there. I'm actually surprised by how many Mavericks we were sent. Yeah, me too. Right? Um, uh, I don't, I think a Maverick would be one of the last things I would send away. But uh, I think that's just kind of a testament to the community, right? Like, they, oh, they, someone asked if we got an Eden's jar. There is not an Eden's jar in this tournament. Ah, uh, okay, that's a shame. That's um, still, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I think there is a second sins deck. Yes, there's a three sins deck. Um, so yeah, Maverick Eureka is is kind of badass and untamed. Um, Look at the E on this deck. It's twenty five E. That's a lot of that's yeah. a lot of amber. Um, it's got some brain drains, mostly capture icons in this deck, right? It's, it's four capture, exclusively capture. Yeah. Um, it's got old Bruno. It doesn't does it have it doesn't have a way to punish high amber totals, but uh, I think it's probably fine. Um, that's most, a full brain drain too. Mostly taking it for the uh, the the Maverick Eureka, just because uh, I'm the a coolness cool. factor. Yeah, yeah. We're not necessarily like trying to pick the best decks at once, but like, yeah, we want to split them up as evenly as well, possible. Well, that and also give the, each deck a chance for us to talk about yeah, it too, exactly. right? So, all right. So, I have a, I don't have a great idea of what I want to pick next. So I might just grab one of these two Dark Tidings decks to sort of split okay. the difference there. Let's see. We do have a Maverick in that one. Oh. And oh yeah, I did. I, I remember this Maverick. Ooh, it does look the the Maverick in that deck does, does look cool. All right, in the interest of uh, Sacra Coins, TTR favorite. Yeah, oh, yeah. we get we've That's got a lot of my favorites. Got a lot of mileage out of Sacra Coins on this channel. That's for pick sure. Phantasmal anchovies. Phantasmal anchovies. Gertrude. Or if anchovies, anchovies is tied version. to unfathomable. I believe this is uh let's see. I think this is Captain Gale. Is it not on this list? So yeah, I just scroll up. Uh, is... it was sent. Oh. But no, that's not right. Hold on. I don't think that Captain Gale sent this one. I think they sent this one instead. Oh. Because this we don't have this deck. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. I think they filled it out. All and, right. and then they asked me if they, they could send this one instead. I okay, I got you, I got you. Gotcha. Yeah, so, yeah. So mystery right. solved, sword, I think. We sure. think. We think. And if I'm uh, misrepresenting the origins of this deck, <laughs> type it in the YouTube comments. Let me find it. Is it early? Or would it be late? late? Probably be late. There it is. All right. Phantasmal anchovies. 
Three Tr forgive oh, yeah. or forgets. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Three forgive or forgets. That's a lot of those. We got Mecha Buoy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it could be really good in this since there's not a lot of dark tidings, right? Yep. Uh, Keylock's good for taxing purposes. Yeah. You got science, immersive principles, good. But yeah, I find that Quintina. I think that Quintina is actively bad in Star Alliance, but it does look cool, and that's more important than being good in this game sometimes. So here's the Quintina, Maverick Quintina. The, the the Star Alliance blue border there, pretty cool. It could also wreck. So like, I'm I'm curious to see because there, there's a lot of like Infernus. Things yeah, there's a lot of Infernuses. Uh, the decks that play well against Infernus, I think, are gonna like, uh, yeah, do disproportionately well. Do the better, right? yeah. Uh, I, think, I think if you do well against Infern, like, I think decks that do well against Infernus are just good Keyforge decks sometimes, right? Um, they're either creature heavy or that they've got like a game plan or the ability to generate amber that doesn't rely on amber pips, right? So it yeah. makes them way less susceptible to a card like a uh, We also have the Chosen One and Storm Surge, that's pretty good. Oh, that's cool. Um, combo. Recusal's Chance, so a Tidal Wave, like another Storm Surge. The, the, un, the Unfathomable is doing unfathomable things. Yeah. Right? And the Star Alliance is got Grand Alliance Council, we like that. Biome Discovery together. Grand Alliance Council is probably Triska, really good. Triska, Gun, yeah. And then that Maverick, so. Really interesting. Yeah, though. exactly. You don't require a very specific combination of cards. It's just all good cards, right? So, okay, done. What did I get yours? Last one. Uh, it was Saraha. Saraha. Oh, wait, no, the first it second was Doctor Twister Shelley. Yeah, you didn't. I did not. Boom. Okay. All right. Um, I guess I'll grab. Uh, only got two coded decks. <laughs> only two coded decks. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll probably grab a coded deck. I'll grab the Ephemeral Wrestler. Okay. Um, triple punch, double arise. Um, one last job, so you can get rid of your bad pennies. One last job and uh, double arise is actually cool, right? When you've got the one last job in hand, you can arise all of your shadows creatures and get like a big steal. That's got to be good, right? Yeah, that's that is actually really interesting. I like, um, I like shadows creatures, and you can get like bad penny back, dodger, two shadow selves, two, two silver tooths. Yeah, so you could like even play the silver tooths reap with them, and um, then one last job. And one last job. That's uh, that's sneaky. Yeah, I, that's I think that's a pretty that's a pretty um. Heads up play there, right? And I'm a fan I, of I, the three punches. I'm not a fan of the two war songs. Uh, you got Champions Challenge and uh, Ganger Chieftain, yeah. so I think you can. I think you can like get and War Drummer. You can get some uh, value out of War Song. Obviously, War Song's probably one of the weaker cards in the deck. I yeah. think, um, especially for like uh, Coda, but uh, Double Tendrils, Poltergeist, Lash, like that, that's a lot of good discards. Uh, those are all cards I like to see. I'm not mad at them, and of course, yeah, you got double succubus to go with your eyes as well. So you could you could really end up and jeweler like you you always have for a jeweler with an eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you're I think you're in for some um, some big swings late in the game. So all right, I'll go ahead and take the other coded deck. Split those right. up. This is the player herp. This one. is the player herp one. Oh, sorry, who was the ephemeral wrestler? Let's ephemeral wrestler. Yeah, Kelly is Kelly's unique. unique okay. So thank you, Kelly. Sweet. Uh, and this one is Chip Alexia Cabin Wrestler. So we have double Coda Wrestler decks that made the cut. <laughs> Pretty cool. Was that one? Chip, where are you at? There he is. All right, Chip Alexia Cabin Wrestler. Also double arise. Yeah, yeah. We have a Relentless Assault Punch, Anger, Blood Money, Take That Smarty Pants, Earth Shaker, Fire Spitter, Smash, Valder, Blood of the Titans, War Song. Yeah, I uh, we're song with we're Realm Assault is awesome. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I think you got a better spread of Brobnar creatures in this deck. I would be a rise with Brobnar is not bad if you can set something up. Probably. Yeah, uh, I do think the this is one of those classic coded decks where there's like three disc creatures and two arises. That kind of sucks. Um, right. And two, but two Hysterias is interesting there. Yeah, I do agree with that. I think Hysteria is like conditionally good against some of the sets. It's probably less good against all this mass mutation, right? Cause you don't really want to balance a bunch of creatures that have bonus icons, but um, so yeah, 
Everest Principle is great. Mother, so many on the nose Mind wrestling Lock. cards. Yeah. Mind Lock could be interesting too. <clears throat> I'm interested to see how this is gonna play out. Yeah, it'll be it'll be an interesting deck. I mean for 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 a deck that player hurt essentially found on eBay, he bought it and mailed it to because us. Because it was his name and yeah. a wrestler in the title. Yeah. Which it's, is it's just like you can't yeah. you can't go wrong. It's just yeah. it's great. That's a great it's a great name. So right, I take chip. Yeah, they sent. We they got, actually sent. Yeah, they actually sent decks. So these are all. These, these are, are all player submitted decks. Uh, what you grabbed? Did I already get it for you? Ephemeral wrestler. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take disappearing lady rays, Nathan. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Nathan deck. I could have sniped it from you. You could have, but now you can't. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me take a look at this one and see. What we got. Wow! Look at this dark wave double. Double Amber Pip and uh, card draw on this Dark Wave. Double Amber Pip card draw. On Borrow this. with Double Amber Pip card draw. Okay. Um, let's see. Punctuate Equilibrium. All okay. right. So, um, yeah. Oh, man. It's, this, this deck is Double Glory as Attendant, which is where all these um, Amber Pips came from. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're chilling. But oh, you, fine. Get a, you get a reverse time. This re, the is reverse time punctuated equilibrium a thing? I'm having to I'm having to envision the situation. I mean, is it's it like, possible that that's a thing? I don't know. It, there's a there's probably a situation where it is good, right? Yeah, it'd probably be hard um, to set that up. Yeah, but. Yeah, four card draws and four amber pips, right? Are they yeah. Icon? Well, yeah, you got uh, and then a uh, damage and a capture. Um, you have Cronus and Daughter on top of the... Captain Gale is on Twitch. Oh, Captain Gale, you sent us the which one? Phantasmal anchovies, right? I drafted that one already. So. Yeah, uh, we wanted to verify that with you real quick. Yeah, because that, that you filled out the form with a different deck. I think, but I think you told me that you were sending a different deck, and which is fine. I just wanted to make sure. I just did want to make sure I was attributing that deck to the correct person. Red pity. Okay, so Red pity. And who was Lady Rays? Who was Lady Rays? That was from Fran. Okay. Um, yes, this deck definitely looks interesting. Um, Ransacks. Ransack plus reverse time. I'm trying to figure out the reverse time plays in this deck. I mean, you just play it. Yeah, just you play it when it's good. It. You probably play it when it's good. Discard it when it's bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's right. Okay. Looking forward to playing this one. So sweet. All right, so that was a that was mass mutation. So let's, in the interest of keeping things even, <clears throat> what do I want to do? All right, let's take a look. I'm just gonna go one through one. Master egg hunt. We did already experience the the power of master oh, egg yeah. hunt. <laughs> um, it was pretty cool. It's got the stone. We got Wizzle Patchwork Gaza Chan. <laughs> sounds like Gaza a chain. Gaza chain. Sounds like a goblin name. We'll go ahead and type Wizzle. Or go and take Wessel. So Wessel is it sounds like a goblin name from uh, uh, Gadget Zan. It does. The uh, this is the other Sins deck. Oh yeah, okay. unopened, splitting, splitting the Sins. Oh god, and and damaged, damaged. Uh, we got Desire with the key cost one. Mm -hmm. We got Envy. Okay, so that's the one. The capture one. Okay. Okay, so that's the one. The the. The other deck doesn't have. So Envy is not great in here because it has to have all three of the sins to even be able to trigger. Yeah, right. yeah, so that's going to be tough. And then Wrath. Okay, so it has the this deck has the two sins that the other deck is We missing. now officially have every sin card. Uh, yeah, so that's collection. great. Sweet. Double Drecker. We'll at least get to see them all in play at some point. So. Uh, Marks of Dis. Oh, God, yeah, two yeah. of those. Ultra Gravitron, hell Ultra yeah. Gravitron. Hell yeah. Uh, Cyber Clone's always awesome. I love Doom Dynamo. It's coming, yep. Uh, Ambulance yeah. needs itself in one other. Oh, is it? I thought it said two other. Two or more friendly. Okay, you're right. Okay, so it needs, nice. just needs two total. Sweet. Some angry mobs. The angry mobs, like, uh, can dump the half of the Ultra Graviton discard pile, I guess. Yeah. That's something. That's funny. Yeah. I, I didn't hate angry mobs the more we played with them. It, it, it's situationally it's great, like boards where you're just running. It's situationally time. good. It, yeah. it, it is good in situations where you need a reliable source of creatures to fight, right? Um, so, and there are times where you've gotten through the good stuff of your deck and just milling your deck and then uh, redrawing to have a chance to try to draw them again is good. So, yeah, it's like so. fine. All right. Um, okay. I am. 
Um, we got a bunch of AOA. Let's go with an AOA pick. Are these the two? Super... Is this the only World's Collide? That's the other World's Collide okay. one. Um, I'm strategically leaving that since you're not going to pick it. Um, I forgot that you already picked World's Collide, so to be honest. Uh, no, I didn't pick World's Collide yet. Oh, did you I pick World's Collide? You picked World's okay, Collide. Okay, okay, so I'm not going to touch that. Yeah, this is part of I, I, I'm having to you're, explain. You're gaming the system. I'm right having now. to explain my grand strategy right now. Yeah. Um, I see some Brobnar. I see a Brobnar Mar Shadows deck. So Team Confage has to take this deck. Uberwald, <clears throat> Tryings Wrestler. Another wrestler. We love it. The wrestler themed triple Ronnie wrist clocks. <laughs> um, a Hypnotic Command with a fair number of uh, Mars creatures. Um, Drummer Knot. No Ganger Chieftain. Um, but it's got Relentless Assault with uh, two Drummer Knots, so that could be pretty good. Um, you could do a bunch of fighting and bouncing. Um, Ring of Invisibility. Uh, Hypno Beam, Orbital Bombardment. There's some there's some power in here. This isn't like uh, the most uh, impressive deck, but I think that's the problem with like AOA decks. I mean, it's like um, solid because of the three Ronnies and like yeah, just, just yeah. I think good I think it's stuff. I think it's got some good stuff. It doesn't have like the crazy synergies that like other. Um, decks might have but we got a I mean, five and two record of chain bounds over here yeah I, I, uh, that, that's it's, it's winning record so mm -hmm. um hypnotic command is a hell of a card yeah, like very it, uh, hypnotic command can be crazy so um yeah I'm, I'm excited to see what this one can do okay uberwald what was the sass on uberwald 67 60 said classic classic, classic aoa underration underrated so no, you already got it boom it's already in the right spot all right uberwald who sent that that was Bill. 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 Bill knows a thing about triple Ronnie decks. Is I'll there? You and so you mentioned the house combo. Is there not a logo shows this deck in our? They're not pile. Well, How did we? It won't be in uh, uh logos. I don't think there is. No one sent a logo shadows disc deck. I unbelievable. Well, uh, I got it's all those decks are probably too good. Right? No, this is. This is right here. Okay. The so strategy of steel gold. So you have to take that one with light task here. I gotta do it. You just took it away though. Uh, I did. Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take this because, right. you know, going along with the the uh, the theme of the picks here. Yeah, stunt bunny. Glad you glad you like the idea. Yeah, it's just turning out. I think above our expectations. Right, right, right. We were uh, anxious pirates. Something. Thanks, anxious pirates. Appreciate appreciate that. Garbage house combo. This three <laughs> of steel gold. This is mass mutation. Sent by uh, do, 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 do. anxious pirate. Oh, hey, they something right there, something right there, and sending decks from Australia. Yeah, so these were uh, in possession of Joker, so the Joker was able to send all this at once. Oh, cool, this is cool. very economical. All right, where is the deck here? Uh, you tell me, there it is. Okay, implosions, right. gleeful mayhem. We love that. The howling pit. Howling Pit, okay, yeah. We got a Sinestro. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, bots, Bot Booked In, some Daemon Bots, Dino Bots, Serenized Testing, Forge Compiler. Forge Compiler? I like Forge Compiler. Oh. Two Lethal Logicas. Oh. We like that. Ecle Eclectic Inquiry, the Diametric, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So Bot Booked In's Bow Nithings times two, Pincerator. We just talked about Pincerator. Is there the, uh, the house? Does it have the safe house to go with Bow Nighting? No safe house. Oh, man. No safe house. Um, uh, but Pins Raider and Dark Wave's probably pretty dang good against other... Yeah. Pins Raider Red Penny is good. We got Red Penny. What's Red Penny? I, it is not open. We do it's not... unopened. No. Unverified. Let's, let's go and open this. All right, we'll where bust the, it. Where the Amber Pips are. You may or may not feed Pirate's Addiction to Keyforge on occasion. That's good. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. It's the fixer. Yeah. Okay. Officially checking the amb the, the, amb the pips. So we got Fidget has two enhancements, uh, capture and damage. Okay. Okay. But Red Penny has a damage. Okay. Uh, which is a non that does not work with her play. Yeah, it does not work with her playability. She explodes. So. And. Lethologica is a damage. Okay. Is it? Oh, and pain reaction has a capture, and break key has two capture. <laughs> so it that doesn't work. 
Break key has two capture. Like, so cuts. it would capture two. I guess you could. Well, you could if they were, could, if they have like six. No. Yeah, they so they have two. You play it. You capture two, then they have six because the key's broken. Well, I mean, if you have like other to go along with that, you could yeah, bring then, them yes. down even like that. Yeah. So you could you could you could maybe it's better than a regular break key. That's true. It's more likely that to work than a regular break key. Right? Yeah. yeah, you're more likely to actually stop a key. So yeah. Okay, so I got this free. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. I'll take a mass mutation. Um. Oh, uh, okay. It's it's. I think it's Ladies' Night. We're going with Lady Laser to go to, to go with my previous Lady Rays pick. So, uh, Lana, Lady Laser, Sana, which is just the great name. I think this is this is That's like a good one. This is maybe all the rhyming, all the alliteration. <laughs> it's just oh, it's it, yeah. It's it's like a Kendrick Lamar song over here. All right, we've got. Is that your sick figure, Lana? It is. It well, is. It's on TV. Yeah. All right. It is. Uh, double subject Kirby, which is um, kind of cool. Lay of the land. I got. I guess see where the enhancements are. Sloppy lab work is good. Tarato. Double Kirby's. Where's that? Mid Tropic Swirl. Okay. So all the yeah, all the pip. Uh, the um, show us the pips. Read the pips off. Okay. Uh, Hydron Collision with Draw Card, Survey with a Damage Pip, Discombobulator with an Icon, Qmex with a Damage Icon, that's interesting. Um, Daughter with a Draw Card, hmm. uh, which is sort of a non-bow. Sarian Egg with a Capture, I like that because uh, Sarian Egg is just really hard to fight off the board with yeah. five uh, yeah. armor. Um, Sagittarius Gaze with the Damage, it landed on it, it did it. That's excellent. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Beware the Ides with Draw Card. That's so, awesome, I like there that you go. Too. Um, that's the card. So there you go. That's Sweet. where the pips. That's where the uh, the the pips landed in that deck. So yeah, that'll be fun to play. That I think. Um, uh, this is this is the classic sort of like mass mutation deck where there's an amount of speed and amount of amber. So all right, I am gonna take J. Argento Crow El Verde del Carisma. <laughs> All right. Which is our foreign language deck in this pod. Testing the nala, the testing the limits of our knowledge, Where which is, is the uh, AOA deck, right? It is AOA. So we got some Argento. Uh, I don't know Silver it's, Crow. Captain Gale, this uh what what language is this in? Uh this is Italian, right? This is Italian, okay. Il Verde del Car Carisma. Certainly sounds I like L IL looks like Italian to me, right? This is a Captain Gale deck, of course. Italian. Um, okay. Uh, we got three bot Ayante Antantes. <laughs> we got uh, two uh, Capo Tribu Gangers. Okay. Man, I am just, my Italian ancestors it's, are not happy with Yeah, that. I know. <laughs> They're like, you better watch your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got two poltergeists. They're the same. They're they're giving you they're giving you the, the hands right now. Hey, so the what ghosts. do you do with <laughs> What do you do with it? It's being Italian. <laughs> You're putting this on the internet. I'm pretty sure we got Italian hands in the chat somewhere. We got um, two charrettes. Portal Joshuicio. The green of charisma. The green of charisma. Okay. Imp Shigia de Sangu. <laughs> uh, poltergeist. Double poltergeist is pretty crazy. Um, is that, I, uh, Art uh, the artifacts are gonna have a bad time in the tournament, I think. Yeah. This is a grum buggy. Oh, it is. And iron a grum buggy iron obelisk. Uh, yeah, that's some. That's some. Uh, and two lollops. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, and Grogans and, and Ganger Chief, two Ganger Chieftains. Yeah. I like this deck a lot. Yeah, it's, I already like this deck a whole lot. Uh, you got two Schulers that help with the uh, the Grump Buggy. It's got answers for a lot Titan of stuff too. The Double Poltergeist. It's got knowledge power. It's got interdimensional graft. You could you got Binding Rupture, interdimensional, interdimensional graft. You got ah, Helper Mod. Ah. So you can like drive up the keys with the the Grump Buggy. Yeah. You can Helper Bot Poltergeist your Grump Buggy. By a rupture interdimensional graft. Yeah, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of plays potentially in this deck. We like that. If you get to if you get to live the dream, that deck I think can can produce some just hilariously big turns. So. We like that here. Cool. I'm excited for that. Yeah. 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 I found it. I saw I saw the play. Uh, all right. Um, 
let's see. Hmm. We're, are we still even on? I guess we are even on mass mutation then, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then there's there's the one world's collide, and this is we have another AOA. I have three mass mutations, so that implies to me that we're even. So we are at one dark times that's up for reps for anybody. Yeah. One world's collide. I guess I can go ahead and take this one. Okay. Just uh uh. So uh, marks of Greyway Strand. Um. Nature's Call, Unnatural Selection, Fangtooth Cavern, Flaxia. Uh, yeah, I always like Unnatural Selection plus uh, Flaxia, right? Because you can always uh, cut the. This is, no, that's, that that's not. Marks that's of Grey Way Strand. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, two. United Action. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, yeah. Double Cutthroat, a Daughter, a Tao Tao. Yeah, Strange Gizmo is great. Love Who's that, that card. Marks in, by the way, Marks was Doctor Sheep. Doctor Sheep. Yeah, Appreciate I think I must have Dr. Dressed, Sheep. already dropped. I dropped Flame Gas earlier, right? That's good. Mm, flame Gas, I think, is still out here. It's still out. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Flame Gas is right here. All right. Um, Double Medic Ingram. Ingram's really good besides uh, Strange Gizmos, right? Because you can. Um... Oh, and Morpheus to go with Double Ingram. Okay, there it is. Uh, and information officer great. This is this is a solid a Morpheus, Morpheus deck. deck. Yeah, solid Morpheus deck. Lots of lots of uh, and the spears. You could you could Morpheus the Flaxia, which is cool. Um, the United Action potentially could give you like a big oh, Morpheus turn. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, there's there's some uh, there's some plays in this deck. There's some I plays. like the logos actions too. You got Twin Bolt, you got Thorium Plasmate, you got Positron Bolt. Yeah, you got some. You got some removal. You, you got, got some throw researches. You got some Fang Tooth as well. So is the this, the this logos is three creature? It's small. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not three creature. Yeah, mm -hmm. not big. I kind of like that. Those, those actions are really impactful. Yeah, cool. But yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, you can uh, you could use the Strange Gizmo as a United Action target too. So. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this last uh, Dark Tidings deck. The, okay. This is Flame Gas. This is the other Doctor Sheep deck. Flame Gas, where are you? Right here. Flame Gas, Sulky, Warmonger. Oh, so final analysis. Yeah, final analysis. Chronophage as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. We like that. Theory of conjecture. Two mugs. Uh, two sea urchin. Hot, two hobnobber. Chronophage is they come into play exhausted. Yeah, it's the or have Omega. Okay, Chronophage is good with final analysis then, right? Um, so if you have to wipe the board, yeah, then you could dump it. Um, and you can dump it to keep uh to keep them from just like going crazy with final analysis. Their hands right? like super jumped up. Yeah, that's that's always the problem with final analysis is that like unless you can take advantage of it better than the opponent can, then um something disastrous can happen. So we got three Valmarts and a Cease Forge. There's Ooh, something there. Man. There's something there, right? Yeah, that's got to be in a book. We got a book, yeah. Book is good with final analysis too, right? Two Ambervax. Huh. There's something there. There's something going on. You can make them pay a bunch for keys, right? Renophage and Cease Forge, two very scary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, How many picks is, are in? Uh, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So we're 15 picks in, Bill. Yeah. You blew it. You, you blew it, Bill. You already picked your deck, by the way. Yeah, I already picked your deck, Bill. Yeah. Done. All right, Flame Gas. I got it already. Okay. And thank you for sending that deck, Bill. Much appreciated. I made, it, I made a joke uh, specifically about how you would be familiar with Triple Ronnie decks. Bill, look at this dog. I made that joke for you. <laughs> look at this dog. Hold up. Look at this dog. This dog here. I got this dog. Yeah, Stormstrong did lie. Yeah, start from his first there. pick. Rigged. We uh, pick in order of our favorite mods. <laughs> and that, that was it. Done. Uh, all right, back to pick. So it's your pick now? Uh, yeah, just pick yes, you just pick um, a Dark Tanks deck. Okay. I'm, um, I'm dog sitting for my parents. So this is... Uh... This is yeah. Cosmo. Yeah. Here for the next week and a half. This is a loner dog. Yeah, borrowed a dog. This is, we rented, this is stolen dog valor is what this is. They're going on a cruise in like Iceland or something. Oh. Sounds pretty cool. That'd be kind they of They got cool. their fourth booster shot, so 
and they have to stay masked up the whole time, so it should be fine. Yeah, they're probably good. Yeah. They, they're more probably more in danger of the norovirus than the coronavirus. Uh, so. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the best kind of dog. You don't have to keep that long. Also, yeah, it's like, a dog that's basically a cat, so it's a great dog. He just wants to be in my lap all the time. Yeah. Just hanging out? He doesn't have really barked. So. Yeah, Pretty I've good. never heard this dog bark. The first rule of keyboard is a vault tour is you see three Ronnie's. <laughs> that, that is the rule. That's definitely a rule. Yeah, that's that's definitely one of the first rules of Keyforge. I think there's multiple first rules of Keyforge, but that's a that's a pretty good. They did a Mediterranean cruise last year as well uh, after their third booster, and they had a lot of fun on that one too. I'm like, oh man, that sounds yeah. really cool. That you, <laughs> I wish I could afford to do that. Yeah, must be nice to be retired. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> must. Must be nice to be retired and own the house you live in. <laughs> yeah, I do have uh, that going for me at least. But um, all right, we're going with Maven Saw Stone. Maven Saw Saw Stone is already there. Okay, uh, Val Jericho in this deck. Um, Baldric the Bold is a personal favorite of mine. Saurus Rex. We got two. We got too many commanders on this ship. <laughs> Saurus and Val Jericho. Yeah, Hapless Cadet is an awesome card. Destroyed your opponent loses three. What we uh, we played with this one, right? I think we did. This yeah, this is what I played. With? Yeah, you played this one. Um, Squire Alice. A uh, bunch of capture icons. Who's that, Maven? Uh, this was Window. And uh, damage on Radiant Truth, yeah. Uh, this deck's already won. Is this deck's already undefeated? I it's can't believe already we, undefeated. Can't believe we haven't drafted it before now. Okay, so, so in that interest, I'm gonna draft Master Egg Hunt. <laughs> Since now they, uh, if they're gonna meet again, it's gonna be in the, in finals. the finals bracket. Okay, yeah, Master Egg Hunt, and that was from uh, Kami B, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, Kami yep. B. Where's Master Egg Hunt? There it is. Yeah, maybe. We need, we need this deck to eliminate the Undertaker. <laughs> well, that means Nathan has to take the Undertaker. Um, whatever is where is Master Egg? Then we'll take another look at it. We did get to see it on stream the other day, but it does uh just all kinds of cool stuff. We yeah, got it's three the... infernaces. We got two gateways. Um, you get to true. You get to gateway your true brew quite a bit. Yeah. in this deck, I think. Um, and uh, the I mean I think the the key card in this deck is the Kitzel stone, the stone, right? Yeah, it's a good stone deck. I think it's sure. a pretty good stone deck, yeah. right? Uh, it's a, cards like Cyber Clone are really cool. Kitzel stone, so most dead. No, it would, it performed pretty well. I mean, yeah. it lost the game ultimately. Yeah, I think it was uh, kind of a clunky draw, but on like part it, for some the way. access denied. The blast shieldings are good with the stone. I think there's just, I think there's a situation where this deck gets out um, the the one creature oswin you get out hayden oswin, hayden oswin yeah you put two uh put two blast shieldings and the stealth star on her and then you just win the game yeah just right because like, you're just like reap 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 yeah. reap 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 and you just that's your only creature they would have to have very specific creatures to be able to fight into her or specific her. types of removal yeah exactly yeah. so um but yeah i think i think there are i think there are uh um pretty good uh matchups for that deck so um i do think the kixel stone will likely get exploded a there's lot. a lot of artifact there's a lot right. of artifact hates um but uh but like uh uh what's it's borrow is not gonna do it yeah we have seen some borrows there's a lot so. of ours actually yeah all right uh that was me all right i am gonna go um, yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll take the Undertaker deck then. Okay. Pepper Blaine Sanatorium Undertaker. This was Dave. Uh, triple Collector Worm. Uh, Killzord. That's the really bad attachment, right? It's like not amazing, but it this, could possibly be good. This creature gets plus two armor, plus two power, skirmish, and fight. Gain one chain. Right. It so, it, is a, it, is, it does. It's work. an interesting card. Yeah. My, uh, triple Ronnie, okay. Rig Lottery, okay, okay. Flaxia with double regrowth. Um, how does this deck kill creatures? Is my next question. Does um, it just, do you just collector worm all of the opponent's creatures? Uh, oh, it's got Shatterstorm. Oh, Shatterstorm is pretty sweet. Yeah. Shatterstorm is dope. Um, kill the worm is interesting, but like, does it need it? Does it need it? Oh, you've got the Yiffiz No Drone. Play archive a card. You may purge an archive card to stun a creature. So you can purge their stuff that you're collecting. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, mm. And you have a way to recur it with the double regrowths, right? Um, mm. It's got a key chart. This deck's got some spice. Let's yeah, I think you're right, Yo-Yo. They were like experimenting like, like, with things they could do with chains, and they felt like that effect was powerful enough yeah. to, to, garnet, to wager a chain or to, to deserve a chain. Yeah, cost. so the thing is, I think you can... I mean, I think you can print a card that says this creature gets plus your armor, plus two power, and skirmish as an attachment with no pips on it, and that card is not broken. Yeah. Right? Like, I think that card is good, sure, but it is not broken. Stormstrong 7, 42 months. 42 months. Uh, probably no exhibition match tonight. Just the draft. Yeah. So we gotta keep it clean. You got your taste already. You gotta wait till Sunday for the full... The full, uh, but, yeah, the full shebang. The full shebang. You drafted Maven, right? Uh, Maven saw stone, yes. Yeah. And then uh, Pepper Blaine, Sanatorium, Undertaker. All right. I think I want. Look at Cal Pidgey and Yeah, it's a good. That's a good. Uh, it's a good point. I mean, look at shoulder armor. Shoulder armor gives you a pip, and it's plus two armor and uh, plus two power. Right. It, the caveat is the creature has to stay on. Um, we're taking uh, Crab flank. Deep. Crab Deep. The Warmaster Congregant who sent this. Uh, Crab Deep. Crab Deep. Oh, is this the... Um, is this the Yo-Yo and Mortivus yes. deck? Yes, yes. This is the Mortivus. Okay. Mortivus slash Yo-Yo deck. Yes. Mortivus. Mortivus, really. Okay. All right. This All one right. already qualified uh, through yes. a grueling four deck qualifier <laughs> matchup. So it has already stood the test of the double too much to protect. Honestly, I think that's some of the few too much to protects that are in the turn. Is that the only two? I think I think there's a lot. There's there is some scaling amber control, but the, it's possible that this tournament, uh, some of the decks go just absolutely buck wild hmm. because there's uh, There's a lot scale, of Ronnie's though. Scaling Amber Control was not a big thing in Mass Mutations, no, right? There were graphs though, and like um, all the almost all the AOA decks had graphs. I feel like yeah, but there there is Scaling Amber Control, but it is not as prevalent as we've seen in other in other events that we've done. So the two Full Moons and Nature's Call is interesting, but the two Dusk Witches are not as good with right, that. Right. Yeah, hmm. but you do have a Key Charge. You do have a Key Charge. You have Chota. So yeah. Key charge and Chota, right? Wow. So you can you can uh, arc you can like potentially very interesting um, forge a lot of keys. Mm -hmm. So that's eight, an eighty sass, uh, thirty three iron obelisk. Quite a quite a bit of uh, iron obelisk in this tournament. Thirty three e. That's a lot of damn e. Holy moly! Okay. I mean, like if you if your if your deck is like threatening every two turns, and then you have double key cheats on top of that, like. This madness. If you're just like, if you just take an untamed turn and forge a key, three turns later you take an untamed turn and you forge a key. Why do we have three decks left? Because I have to take one, you take one, and then I take one. I pick first. first. Oh, okay, I was yeah. thinking you pick first for some reason. All right, next pick. All right, um, I'm gonna pick this one that has a bunch of uh, enhancement icons on it. Okay. Uh, durable Bandola of the Rainforest. Um, and I'm also picking this one so I can crack this open. Ooh, we're going to see what the crack it, are. Crack, a, crack it open, this baby, with the boys. All right. So Effervescent Opposition Research are both enhanced. We got Cyberplan. We got Archivist. Archivist? Yeah. Is there how much and oh there's auto encoder. Oh okay. All, all right. right, all right, okay. Uh we got a transporter platform. We've got a new frontiers. Okay, new frontiers is dope, right? Anthony would draw a card. Hmm. Okay. Anthony would draw a card plus transporter platform is not nothing. Anthony right? plus draw. Okay, sweet. Subject Good. Kirby plus transporter platform is not nothing. Um, Techno Knight with draw card icon on it. Vault Keeper with capture. Opal Knight to destroy even power creatures. Uh, we need somebody to run the numbers on how um, many even on how many even power creatures are in this. Yeah. So see. you said draw an Anthony with transport platform. That could be potentially really oppressive, right? Yeah. Whoa. That's um, Gizzleheart standard. So your Anthony gets plus one armor. What does uh, Effervescent have? Effervescent. Uh, I'm getting to it. Um, Zan uh, Zalador draws a card. 
two commandeers, two commandeers plus Gizzleheart standards, crazy. Because hmm. um, that that means you've got a lot of like uh, ways to um, buff keep, your guys up. Yeah, to keep to make sure that they have the plus one. Oh, who sent this, by the way? Um, durable, durable Vandola of the Rainforest. Anxious pirate. Anxious pirate. Another anxious pirate deck. All right. Uh, Cyberclone, Smoko, Positron Bolt, Mutagenic, Titan Engineer, Oppositioners, Opposition Research, Effervescent has a damage icon on it. Oh, okay. Um, that's good. Uh, Auto Encoder has a capture icon okay. on it. That's also, that's good too. Opposition Research has a capture icon. It sounds like the captures landed in pretty good places then. So, um, yeah. So, worst case, with Auto Encoder, um, you can do something about some of these Sanctum creatures, but... Because uh, it's it's like kind of heavy on Sanctum creatures, but we've seen where that is not bad in Mass Mutations. Where, um, so, yeah. All right, last Mass Mutation deck. This is Saeed W. Velocity or Velocitary Gia. <laughs> Who sent this? Uh, this is Raider. 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 All right. Grim reminder. So we already know where all these capture icons have landed because <laughs> they're the only ones <laughs> in the deck. Oh man, Axiom of Grisk with uh, capture icons really good, right? That is solid. Yeah, it's like basically double. Uh, Theris Centurion with double capture with a capture, right? Double Perfectus love, Ludo. Let me double. Theris Centurion. Yeah, this Sarian is like the and Guilty Hearts. Guilty Hearts to blow like your own Sarian. Is there a way to dump in this deck? There's not, right? No, but you oh, can't. No, there is Ludo. Yeah, you could you could just blow up. You could yeah, strategically you could capture blow up. and then, then yeah. guilty hearts. That's yeah. not bad. That's actually great. Like yeah. that's a good way to just get rid of it, right? You also have furnaces, so, essence scale. How many furnaces are in this deck? This is yeah. Just uh, because we last pit, like uh, we didn't memorize all these decks before we sat down and start picking them. So I don't, didn't yeah. really look at the lists at yeah. all, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so so we were mostly trying to split based on like sets. Yeah. Yeah, that try to give everybody an even shake. To this get is essentially answer. a Review. somewhat randomized, yeah, uh, way to show off the decks and get them into their pods. So, y'all did. Oh, uh, you get double bring low to go with all of this capturing nonsense. Um, so I do like that. There's two Ludos for that plan too. So it's yeah. like there's redundancy there's, there. Re there is redundancy, and you got double in furnace. Um. And ritual, man. This is an interesting a grim deck. reminder. Oh. You go with, so you can like archive all your Saurians and can do it all again. I feel like we're gonna play this deck badly the first few times. Yeah, before. and then it'll get better. And then it'll get better. Yeah. That all right. Cool last pick, certainly not least, Ripper Skull Quartz Wrestler. Awesome wrestler name. Ripper of Skull Court would be an awesome wrestler name. Just simply put. <laughs> um, uh, this deck does have sound the horns. Uh, people did at least, um, people did at least, uh, remember the soundboard when they said this in. And this was from um, Zach. From Zach. Yeah. Uh, from Call of Discovery. From, yeah, from Call of Discovery. Uh, it's got some Ortanu in it. Uh, double Ganger Chieftain. Double Library of the Danged. Um, oh, yes. so, uh, uh, that's a, that's a classic hallmark of this channel. Um, a Doom of the Martyr as a way to like draw some cards. Um, a Hysteria. Is there anything going on? Anything interesting going on with this Hysteria in this deck? It does have double Ganger Chieftain and double Bingle Bang Bang. Bilgum is a good um, release. No, Bilgum is the uh, board wipe one. Yeah. Yeah. Gray Rider. I was thinking of uh, the Forge Master, um, but no, uh, Bilgum's different. Prince Derek. I'm not sure Prince Derek's ever gonna get to do anything in this deck, but free markets is looking good in this deck. Because yeah. of all the all of the other houses, right? It'll just be a key. Yeah. Be a straight up key. Um but yeah, Skull Quartz Wrestler. I also like, out. I like Rathias the Fierce. Oh like, uh, yeah, I do love that. I do love my favorite taunt creatures. Yeah. He's just like he's <laughs> so hard to get around, right? Yeah. And then they kept printing that guy um as Kirker. Or any number of other of the, the the sticky creatures that just get in the way. So let's make sure we got this right. All right. So I got are you on uh, Saraha. Saraha. Doctor Twister. And Twister. How's those puts and buttons? Ephemeral. There you go. Uh, you got disappearing lady Ray's Nathan. Yes. You got Uberwald. Yes. Lady Lana Laser. Yes. 
Uh, Lana Lady Laser. The <laughs> Marks of Great Way Strand. Yes. Pepper, Blaine, Sanatorium Undertaker. Maven, yes. Soft Stone. Yes. Durable Bandola of the Rainforest. Yes. Ripper, Skullcrush Wrestler. Correct. Saeed W. Velocity. That's me. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. Crab yes, Deep. you got that? Yeah, we're all good then. If, if you didn't yeah. miss it. Crab anything. Deep is over there. Yeah, so I think we've got them divvied up now. Maven versus Undertaker. Yeah, that was a. I think that's a real matchup that happened in real life. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, okay, uh, there we go. Session zero is done. All done. You get, you get in front of that camera, Sunday. dog. Look, you gotta earn your keep, Make dog. that money. Make, Make that, that money. Show them the money maker. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was it. I mean, that's uh, we just kind of wanted to get to this here stream <laughs> preview because... match. We, we've got we got too much we got too much dog in the way here. I think a lot of dog uh, going on. He'll get used to it. Come Sunday, <laughs> Eddie gets a treat. That means. Double dog treats. <laughs> Twice the value. Uh, please hold. Please hold. Hold one second. Okay. Two for one special. Get a lap shot. No, Eddie. <laughs> Here. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> He's like, I, I smell the second treat. Uh, I smell the second treat. I know it's there. Is nah. that too big for you? You need to cut, catch your crumbs. You're going to eat it on the floor. All right, he got it. He's fine. He broke it in half. He's got to work through it. Let's do it. It's a large treat. For his tiny dog. Yes. Yeah. There you go. That's the stream. It's like a it's like a dog meal for that one. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. So looking forward to it. Kicking it off Sunday. Which uh, which team is going first? Light Tasker or Confage? Mm, I guess Group A, right? So Light Tasker. Sorry, Confage. That's Confage. Yeah. Team Confage. Okay, Eddie, are you helping clean up everything? And we'll uh, we'll randomize these, and then I'll uh, I'll lock it. Yeah, once that's done, and I'll show you guys the the thing in the Discord. Yep, when that's done, and then we'll know um, what our our Sunday is going to look like. So for the next effectively three months, it's going to be the group stage, and then we're cutting to top eight. It's more right. like three months. That's eleven weeks. It's eleven. It's going to be. I want you to look at this. It's going to be eleven, right? I think it's more than that. I think it's eleven. You got. It's eleven. Per group. Oh. It's 22. <laughs> 22 weeks. JK. I'm um, just JK. And then cut to top eight where we'll do matches. Okay. Top eight. And the way okay. the top eight works is it's going to take top four from each and then it pairs them against each other. Okay. So right. uh, it would be like um, first in group A versus fourth in group B, second in group B versus third in group A. Et okay. Okay. So they'll play against So these them. all, but it yeah. could eventually be like all group A advancing, right? Yeah. But all right. All right. It, all, it does pair cross, um, cross bracket. Might mess up your sleeping. <laughs> prizes. Yeah. We'll figure out prizes soon. Soon, TM. Uh, we do have some interesting things to, to give away as part of this. So yeah. uh, I think we I did have bracket predictions open for where the final stage, so like we'll be able to predict how the top eight goes. I don't know if that will change enough based on people's predictions to like separate. You know what I mean? Like yeah, if, yeah. Is it are there going to be too many identical eight person brackets? Yeah. Maybe we just don't worry about it. We can probably give prizes to the people who. I'll pick this up, the same stuff. So yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll get prizes based on predictions over here. Yeah. Okay. Um, there you go. <laughs> there are some degenerate decks. That's true. Uh, but it should be fun. It should be fun. I don't think there's anything that's like super unfun degenerate. Yeah. So uh, there's no Ardreths here. Right. Right. There's no, there's no light taskers. There's not even there's there's not even an eddy. No. Right? There's not any eddies at all. There's not a single eddy. Um, I think this might be less generous than people think. Yeah. It looks actually it looks Infernus, like a lot of interesting things. Infernus there's a lot of furnaces. It sucks. Um, but unless you're one... abusing it with like Asteria. You, well, but Infernus is like not good versus creature heavy decks. So like these Sanctum Mass Mutation decks couldn't give a shit about Infernuses, right? When you've got like five Sanctum creatures, you just are like, well, I'm going to use these until you kill them, right? Um, Gertrude so, has Eddie. You're right. Gertrude there is? Oh, okay. 
All right, so this is a single three, Eddie. Three Forgiver Forgets Eddie. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. Pretty excited about this deck. Uh, yeah, that deck could be pretty cool. So, but yeah, I, uh, I mean, I think there's there's a lot of cards. There's not a, like, there's some amber scaling control. There's a lot of, there's like the TMTPs in that one deck. There's a lot yeah. of interdimensional graphs. There's a lot of, um. I think, I think the, key cheats are going to be really good in this, right? Yeah. So I think like that the, the Mortivus deck is looking strong, right? I mean, if you're just like, go to seven, forge the key, you don't care about Infernus. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, I mean, I, I think, um. We uh, really don't know what to expect, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, this is, that's Keyforge, right? We have yeah. all these decks, they look cool. We gotta play some games. There, might, play there games. might be some of these decks that are a lot clunkier than they may look. Yeah. Uh, there could be some decks that are just inconsistent. We're the ones that punch above their right class. Yeah. So. We'll, we'll probably end up with some storylines um, uh, after the first couple of weeks, right? Yeah. I think that was one of the best things about G1. I think this will be more even uh, as far as, like, that, I don't think there's gonna be a runaway in a pod. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I might need my words on that. Yeah, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's one of those where, where once we start playing, we're going to be like, oh, God, this deck is absolutely insane. Yeah, because we just don't know. Yeah. We can no... look and talk about decks all day. At the end of the day, you got to play it to know if, yeah. it's, if it functions, right? There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, I appreciate everybody this hanging out with us. a fun little stream, honestly. Uh, uh, yeah. A nice departure from this playing the same Flesh and Blood decks over and over again <laughs> for all of eternity. Well, the, the Flesh and Blood shakeup is this weekend, right? Pro Tour happens. There's going to be a Living Legend, most likely. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, and then, like, the new Flesh and Blood set's about a month away, but month-ish away. So once that comes out, there's, like, a whole bunch of new stuff to test. But um, And then uh, Soul Forge Fusion's right around the That's corner. True. Yeah. Right? So um, there's some stuff to to mix up the, the monotony that we find ourselves in right now. But, um, yeah, it's just... This is just a bad week for Flesh and Blood if you're not playing Classic Constructed and if you're not at the Pro Tour, right? Which we are. Um, which which things. we're not prepared to go to the Pro Tour. Um, so um, I'm sure the Pro Tour will have some awesome coverage this weekend. Um, it, the LSS actually cares about their um, like Pro casting. Circuit. Yeah. Well, and, and I mean, like, the, the, the creator's going to be there, right? Like, that's cool. Like, James White is going there um this somebody on twitter was talking about how they bumped into him at like the airport or whatever. their uh their like, last stream that, that i watched had like a thousand plus viewers and uh, they did yeah. uh, they did features on all the people that were doing commentary on it It was really cool yeah like it's uh they're they are in uh and the segue here is that this is what keyforge needs when it comes back if you want it to have flesh and blood levels of success um i think right that's the lesson here is look at what LSS is doing, copy that exactly. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, there's no shame in plagiarism here, in my opinion, of just copy this exactly. Uh, the bracket is not finished yet, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll have so, to randomize um, each side of yeah. it, and then we'll uh, and I'll make it public. Yeah, and then, it'll, then it'll be public. So, um, but yeah, I think that that is the lesson: is look at what LSS is doing with their property, um, a, a property, I might add, that had way less pedigree than Keyforge did. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, I mean, it could have been, it could have flopped so easily. Uh, yeah, but there's a there's a certain amount of like grit that LSS has shown for Flesh and Blood. There's like an amount of tenacity there um, that, uh, that you, you don't even see a fraction of that with Keyforge in the last before before the hiatus, right? Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Who knows if anybody from FFG ever sees these things? But that's the that's the type Anyone of thing. who that could make decisions that, that, that would that, have the ability not. to make the decision. Yeah, I honestly I don't know how many of the developers watch, um, which is a, sh uh, a shame because I would love to tell them, hey. I love the game. I love key, I love, love the, the game, game. <laughs> of Keyforge. Yeah, I, uh, I love what you've done with it. If I, if it ever sounds like I'm complaining about the game, it's coming from a place of I'm really passionate about it. I think the developers understand that. Yeah. Um. Uh. You know, just what? Do, who do? Who do I need to talk to so that like the Keyforge competitive scene, the Keyforge tournament scene? You don't even. You even could even have two, right? You could even have two. Um. Uh. Uh, branching paths, right? That's kind of what they were on, right? With Vault Warriors, which uh, is happening um, only because of community effort. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, like, Vault Tours were pretty good. Everybody can come to it type thing. So, I don't know.
Man. Yeah, I don't know. Let's don't see. Know. We'll get there one day, I hope. One day. Uh, well, I got a lot to say to John Fantasy Flight. John Fantasy, yeah. yeah it, it starts with some Marvel Champions rulings. <laughs> I got some complaints about some Marvel Champions rulings. And then we'll talk about Keep Origins feature. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right. Appreciate everybody hanging out. We'll see you on Sunday for the start of the tournament. Very exciting. Goodbye. Bye-bye.